Ray, Tim and Joel on Nova. Let's talk about the boys. Because boys are crazy. You really are. Boys are not bad. Some of the ones I've dated. Yeah, and just, especially I think around, you know, Bucks nights and things like that. When I think when there is not a woman around to go, yeah, it's probably not a great idea. Yeah. They do some really, really stupid things. Yes. And when have you ever said that to us, by the way? On oh, night never. Night? Well, so we've never done anything <laughs> so stupid. I'm one of the boys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. We've never done anything stupid. Never. We are above board at all times. Yeah, a little bit bent. But in, yeah, a, in a fun way. Yeah, we follow the rules. <laughs> get quite, get yeah. quite bent, but mostly you know, me. What else? <laughs> <laughs> oh, who, who, yeah, someone said to me at the party the other day, "Who's the bent one again?" I go, "Oh, that's Joel. <laughs> that's Joel. He's not here. He's in Melbourne." <laughs> <laughs> Who's the big one? Oh, check out the bender. The big bender. There comes the bender. It. It's such there an old insult. Oh, it's so it. inoffensive. It's, it's so, so funny. But so there'll be dumb. someone out there who hates it. So oh, wow. you know, text us. <laughs> <laughs> what about this? <laughs> Oh, that's me walking into work and everyone yeah. suddenly yeah. looking at their computers and pretending Every to work. Every day. Oh, God, here he is. Oh, my God. Every day. We should invite yes. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I didn't, but most people did. Of course. No, you just didn't bother fighting. <laughs> I neutral. said you should know. You should know that you it's fine. You just should know. You should know this that it's ridiculous. fine. It's ridiculous. You I shouldn't have to have me to do this. Well, mm. we did, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, um, what, what's happening on the boys' trip? So a uh, guy on his Bucks party got stitched up by the guys, you know, mm. as they do. Oh, um, for the, the big event, they all decided that they would be dressing up as Smurfs um, and the groom would be oh, Papa Smurf. Fun. Mm-hmm. So fun. These sound like a great bunch of guys. I love dressing um, up as Smurfs. Yeah. They've got a lot of blue paint. They're blue. So much blue paint. So, you know, yeah. that was the thing. You've got to be blue. But when he got to the party, everyone forgot their costumes and there he was no. just covered in blue like a Do they forget like or did they just tell him? No, they just oh. told him. So he it was a stitch up on him. So he was just blue and had to go out with blue paint all over his body and he was just the only one doing it. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, he went to so much effort. I know. He's even got big Smurf shoes on like you, Joel. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Andrew, oh. and did the boys to get you, Andrew? So, yeah, um, we went fishing one day and it was quite a hot day back in the UK, believe it or not. And oh. my mate, it was uh, like I said, it was hot. He had a can of Coke and said, who wants some Coke? And me being the greedy pig that I am, I snapped the can of Coke and I took a big swig and he filled it up with maggots. And, um, yeah, so. <gasps> oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Did you throw yeah. up? Uh, no, I didn't. I got him back on his buck stay, though, because he dressed up as a superhero in, like, that lycra thing and we slipped the liquid Viagra in his, <laughs> in his drink. And, yeah, and, yeah, about half an hour later, he was a... Uh, <laughs> Oh, it sounds so much. It sounds so much fun hanging out with you guys. Oh my gosh! Oh, it sounds, so sounds like an actual I nightmare so for me. I remember on my when I my my first husband, mm. he went on his bucks night like the week before the wedding, which is just too close to the wedding. Yeah, well, and it used our, to be the night before. That's terrible. This was stupid. And our our honeymoon was in the Maldives, and we were starting out going to this place where he could go surfing because it was some type of stupid surf thing that he liked doing. I sound, <laughs> I sound so supportive. Um, and on his Bucks night, he like kind of basically broke his knee. So then he, we went to this stupid place for him where he couldn't even do the surfing that we were there to do. Oh, <laughs> nightmare. Bloody boys, eh? nightmare. Well, boys, just stop doing oh, it and stop boys. shaving each Can't other's heads and stop shaving people's yeah. eyebrows. Stop doing all of those things. You're going to ruin the day. And look who you're with now. Like you, you can't break your knee eating chips. <laughs> 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 you might because you might slip on the crumbs on the floor. <laughs> uh, Melanie, hello. Good day. How are you? Good. What the boys yeah. do? What happened? How did the boys uh, get They were all working on a car. There was a whole heap of them working on the cars, and they were doing something electrical. And as I've walked past, they started the car, joined the chain, and then the last bloke touched me right on the nipple with his finger and electrocuted me. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Bloody boys! Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel.